was taking some time in loading but now it has loaded uh, it don't take that much time but now it's done so now after uh, we have downloaded the code over there now we can uh, place these kind of uh, what do you call breakpoints over here okay we will be placing the breakpoints and this uh, when when you click on that uh, debug uh, this button debug and download download and debug or uh, this button so this kind of screen also comes up okay and in the screen you should go and uh, put a new and uh, you select one input output panel so this kind of screen will come up now what you need to do you need to select an LED and this will be an LED and you need to connect this you can just name it as LED it's not mandatory but you can do it afterwards over here you can see the name of the ports how they are written so whatever port was uh, whatever pin was pin 63 okay just select this and click ok what we did over here we connected this pin to this pin of the microcontroller okay we connected the LED to the pin of the microcontroller and we have put it like this Oh, uh, uh, what we did, we basically have uh, connected it uh, to pin number 2 and I have connected this LED to uh, pin number 3 of port okay, so to use this, okay. Now it's glowing because the initial value was 1. So now I'll run the code and it will automatically stop at the breakpoint. So now it's running. Oh, okay, wait. Now let like this now and restart the portion yeah okay so we are able to see both the uh, figures let it be over here so I am going to do like this it will because uh, right now its value was 1 and this code got executed now in when this code gets executed its value needs to be 0 so it's 0 then again bitwise it is 1 then again bitwise it is 0 and then this ok if you will remove the breakpoints and try to run it it will be erratic like glowing on and off and on and off but it should not have been visible ok but uh, we are going to stop it yeah so best method was to see through this uh, what do you call uh, breakpoints method and uh, we were able to see yes so hence we have learned how to uh, program an led okay so if i would have used a hardware microcontroller i'll try to like use the same uh, once i get the kit okay uh, which i had earlier so uh, i'll try to run it on the hardware so you can also put your hardware and uh, if you have placed an led on uh, port number pin number second of port number sixth of this particular microcontroller it will uh, work in the same manner but you need to understand the circuitry that is behind the led you need to have a series resistance with the value of the current uh, that needs to be passed so that's a calculation again we'll discuss uh, that calculation in some other uh, video so for today I think uh, this was all the session. Yeah. Yeah, we'll disconnect the debug and we'll stop the video.